So this video is going to go over um, creating a new project index in the project info tab. Um, so this tab, um, the first option you have is to um, start from like a, a, a brand new index file. So you don't have one yet. Uh, you have other options here like update existing project index. So if you started one, you need to come back and update it. You would use this option. Uh, we'll cover that in a later video uh, after we go through filling out the sheet index and stuff and then when you're done uh, and you're ready to submit your index and all the um, zip files or all of your reference files this option will actually is take everything listed in your index and zip it up um, which we'll go over that in a later video so um, for start we want to you know create a new project index so uh, first thing you're going to do is tell the application where your um, project folder is um, so it knows you know where to search through to find all the files uh, so it is integrated with project wise so if you have project wise you will see this dialog if you don't you won't see this dialog um, if you are high project wise and you're working outside of it you can just hit cancel here and you will get your normal you know folder search dialog um, for this demo I'm just going to work inside project wise so I'm going to log in and then I'm going to select this uh, kind of test project that I just throw a bunch of random files in so this doesn't represent an actual project but it will it's enough to show you know this application and all the different features of it so keep in mind this is not a real project so hit OK and it will fill out the location and the project folder, you can fill out the project name. Um, this is just, you know, uh, not really like absolutely needed. It's just to throw it into the header of the Excel file. So it's not really used anywhere else in this process, uh, but it is there for you uh, to fill out. Uh, okay, so once we have it all filled out, we will search our project files. And so I'll hit the search button and you'll see that it, it will start searching through your project folder. Now you notice this copy out documents, that is a, a project wise thing. I need to copy out files because uh, I actually need to open some of them like dgen files to get you know the sheet models or AutoCAD files. I, I, well, I, this actually does work with AutoCAD. Um, it will get all the paper spaces. Um, if So if you have the CAD software installed and it finds those files, it will actually you know, open them up and get data from them. Um, and I'll go through more details in the different tabs about how that all works. But just letting you know it does work for that. Um, and now the last thing it's doing is it actually opens up Excel and creates your index file. So you notice that there is a tab um, for each tab on your project index. So it is saved in memory. So I'm going to uh, save this file. And you're going to want to save this in your project uh, location. Uh, so let me just you know, save this into project wise. No wizard. So it should go into your um, your plan package folder um, since it is um, required in your plan submittal, um, and you should name it um, County PID Project Index. Okay, that. That is how it should be labeled. So we'll just go over the rest of the stuff here. Okay, and I'll save it. Okay. So that's um, you know basically creating a new one. In the following videos, we're gonna go over you know each of these tabs and how they're populated and how to fill out this sheet. Uh, one last thing uh, to go over is this help. Uh, button at the top you have uh, a link to the PDF document uh, this is 
on the internet, so um, you need an internet connection to get to it. Uh, but it will open up. It is a good resource if you're looking, you know, for specifics on how something works. Um, it all is in there. Uh, the how-to video series. So this will link you to this video series, and then the about tab is just give you some information about um, this application. Uh, so in the next video, we'll go over the basements tab.